Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. Last week I went doll hunting for this two-pack called Carnival Date featuring Bunny Blanc and Alistair Wonderland, daughter of the White Rabbit and son of Alice, but I didn't find it in time to give it away. However, the two-pack then uh, appeared on ToysRS.com and so I purchased it and it's finally here. And I'm super excited to unbox and review it for you because they just look super cute together. So apparently this two-pack is about Bunny and Alistair finally going on a first date. They've always had problems declaring their feelings for each other, which you will know if you have been following the webisodes. And here on the back of this very cute box, they're exchanging these notes that ask each other, do you like me? Yes, no, and maybe check the right box. Reminds me of the kind of thing I would do in uh, fifth grade. But anyway, here's a first look at Alistair and Bunny right out of the box. You can see that they do not come with stands. That's kind of crazy. For $29.99, I would have liked a stand. Let's get them to a sunnier corner and put them on stands so we can get a better look. So here we go. They're in my sunny corner and on stands. And let's do ladies first and check out Bunny first. So as you can see, Bunny has a different hairstyle, very cute headband, white bunny ears. Her hairstyle is, um, the bangs are less severe. They're swept to the side. The hair is very stiff and hairsprayed or gelled and the hair headband is held in place by a plastic stay. Sorry for all the shaking, it's my little girl actually turning this doll around and positioning her. Her face up is different than the original. I think it's because she looks tanner and also her eyes in this version are less wall-eyed than the original bunny, so I'm happy with that. Very happy with that actually. Um, the dress is also cute. Uh, the necklace doesn't look like some pictures I had seen. I thought she was supposed to get ruffles. But I like the dress, how it's a short, uh, uh, no sleeve top and a cute skirt on the bottom that's minty green in the background and there's Ferris wheels and pocket watches all in spring colors. I do feel like her dress is missing a belt though. I feel like they should have given her a belt. These shoes are super cute. They're a springy purple pastel lilac color. They have bunny ears on the front, bunny tails on the back, and ruffles on top. And let's check her out from the back. I'm pressing here pretty hard to see if I can um, get her hair to budge and a very, very little. So she's really cute. This is a very cute bunny. And I guess they've gone to the carnival um, because she's holding in her hand uh, a bunny head shaped cotton candy and the thing is this piece is actually really quite heavy and when you have her hold it with just one hand that tends to happen so um, you might just want to have her hold it with both hands and here I'm just comparing the cuffs to the original bunny they are slightly different all right let's take a look at Alistair come over here handsome so Alistair also looks different than his original version um, in the sense that he is also tanner. They both went outside and got a tan. See? My original Alistair, I boil washed his hair and then I never quite got it to how I wanted it to look. So I'm probably not going to touch this Alistair's hair. Well, let's check out his outfit. I like his yellow bow tie. And let's move aside the stuffed bunny. And um, he's wearing a short sleeved shirt with suspenders. The shirt looks to be a plaid pattern with compasses on top. And of course the compass is Alistair's emblem. The suspenders are holding up a pair of pants, but everything's attached. So you can't um, remove the pants or without removing the shirt. I like these turquoise loafers he's wearing. And um, here I'm just showing you that his hair is very much shellacked and hardened. But unlike the original Alistair, I actually like the style that they gave this Alistair. Um, so I'm probably not gonna need to change his hair. Yep, here I'm trying to show you that the pants don't come off without the shirt. And let's look at this stuffed bunny. He must have won this for her at one of those carnival booths. It's super cute, I love the little um, collar. I love the long bunny ears and let me show you on the back 
there is a cute bunny tail and an Ever After High emblem on the back of the stuffed bunny, and it slides on perfectly to Alistair's forearm. Yay, all right, so I'm glad this couple finally had a chance to go out, and I'm excited to watch the webisode. So let's do some shout outs. Here's a shout out to Iwana Lupu Petulis and Savannah Green. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.